I'm I'm really confused. Oh, J J Jason! Yep, that is the coach of Paper X, Alex, who after that round, which I think is the worst round I've ever seen in Pro Valorant, uh, just crying out. Jason, who is Forsaken's first name, but really it was a whole team throw. It was, wasn't was only Forsaken who threw that round. They just played completely uncoordinated. And we're, we're going to have a look at how Paper X threw this game away because it was really theirs for the taking. They should have gone to a map three against Leviathan here. And uh, what I want to go back to is a couple of small points, and then we're going to look at three rounds in a row. Uh, and I'm going to use these these first little points to just show that it wasn't just these couple of rounds, but it's these tendencies that Paper X has moving in throughout periods of the game. And they don't always get punished for it, which is why I think the map ended out the way that it did because... Yeah, they just they do stupid things and because they're cracked at aiming, they, they can get away with it. So let's go back to round 14 to start with and I'm just going to show a little thing. Okay, so here we are at the start of round 14. Leviathan's just had another masterful pistol round. They haven't lost a pistol round yet at this tournament. I think they're 8-0 now after this round. And so Paper X on the ego against the buy-up from... Uh, Leviathan, they're going to do this three-man push out of long. And Benkai's actually going to follow them as a fourth as well. And this is great. This is where I love the Paper X aggression because they actually stun out. They, they expect Leviathan to be playing back, playing safe. And they really put pressure on Melissa here who just can't deal with uh, all five of them. Shy gets caught with his util out and... Benkai gets a timing on him. He shouldn't lose this fight, but he does. And all of a sudden, that's two guns down uh, for Leviathan. 5v3 in advantage of Paper X, and they're going to have two guns now as well. And so all of a sudden, it's, it's game on. If Paper X can win this round, they've got a, a huge advantage. Uh... Who's this? Um, what's his name? King. He goes, oh shit. Now we're down players. I need to make a play. I need to use my gun advantage to uh, make a play and and get guns out of their hands. And he just gets too hot. Tries walking through their own smoke. I think he's trying to get up into heaven to get some, some positioning. But device is here. Right click's too strong. And all of a sudden... Now there's there's three guns, but <laughs> Forsaken just walks through teleporter. So let's let's watch Forsaken on on the map here. Devi gets this kill, and Forsaken sends his TP through, and then dry peaks. Dry peaks out of teleporter. They have absolutely no. They've got no players here. They haven't had any players here for this whole round. And he just comes out with the bulldog by himself. So this is the the strongest gun on the on the map. And Tarkala turns around and just clicks clicks on Forsaken and all of a sudden this round looks a little bit more winnable for uh for Leviathan. There is spike not yet committed. So this flank coming through though. And then Adverso creeps up into lamps. No one's on a site. See if he can get one. He's looking for a cheap one. He finds this isolated fire. He doesn't let Mind Freak trade him out and he gets out. And so now it's a 2v3. Benkai is low health with a classic only. Like this is a very even round here. And Mind Freak comes running in, flashed. Can't get anything done. Jing luckily gets a great timing on the back of both of them. But there's this tendency from Forsaken just to not know when to pump the brakes. He just full send all the time and it almost costs them around. 
Okay, so here we are at the start of round 17. This is coming out of the Leviathan timeout. So the coaches have had the chance to talk to their teams here, and I'm just perplexed that this is what Paper X decided to go for. Against Leviathan's eco, they've got a half by, not a full eco, half by, got two, two Vandals, two Stingers, and a Shorty. And Paper X just decides to go full send, and it just... Let's just play out the round. So we're going to get some aggression out of showers uh, from from Jing and Benkai. Not Benkai, sorry, Devai. They get, they get one and they get two. And so the play works off. It's not something that I would have gone for uh, because... I think just against the eco, you know, you can play things much safer, but you know, paper X is paper X. They're going to go full send a lot of the time and they do it right. They do it with util and they, they trade out the kills. Well, they don't even get any, um, there's nothing to trade. Uh, they get the two kills and then the aggression comes through short. <laughs> now I just want you to note adverso. They've got this aggressive wall here. I love this wall from Leviathan on this round because that allows them to take space all the way up into here, removes that long range gun disadvantage for Leviathan. And then they've got, um, they're going to try and do a pinch play into showers. Now, unfortunately for Leviathan, uh, their two players die here, but they're still going to be able to get a great result. And Adverso is going to be able to push all the way into CT. So let's see this play out. Uh, Forsaken gets caught out by the Prowler. And he TPs out. And this is such a judgment call. I don't like this TP. I don't think it's wrong. I would have preferred him to stay and fight because you already have two players here. So he kind of just, he separates himself from these two players. The, the Viper wall that was right along here, anyone could be here at this, at this moment. This TP is not safe anymore. Um, so... I mean, it's, I think we're, you know, splitting hairs, but I, I don't, I don't like it, the decision to TP out. I would have, he had, I think he had room to bail back into showers and fight this as a three. Anyways, Melissa comes in, he's going to create havoc and Shy is going to get both of them in showers while Adverso gets one in CT and gets traded out. He's gone, pushed them with his stinger. So I think Leviathan's played this super duper well. And now Shy is left in a 1v2. Now, Let's play, let's play, what would you do? Would you, if you're a Mind Freak and uh, Forsaken here, would you push out into sight and hold all these different angles or would you regroup and then wait for Shy to plant and then force him into an awkward situation? And so Forsaken tries to get him there and he misses, but that's fine. They now know exactly where he is. There's still a minute 17 left on the clock. Lots of time for Shy to work with. So if I'm if I'm Paper X here, I'm just regrouping. Mind Freak, the smoke goes down. The smoke goes down, and what does he do? Instead of getting behind cover, he stands there like a statue and just dies to Shy. And now Shy's got a minute ten left to do whatever he wants. He's going to walk all the way over to B site, and he's, he's going to end up clutching up against Forsaken. And it's just these little things. So Mind Freak, what I would have liked to have seen is Mind Freak, they both know his showers. All they got to do is come, Mind Freak's going to come here and regroup up with Forsaken. And you just hold hold this angle or you hold this angle, whatever you want to do, but you just hold it together. You just hold it together and trade out the kill. So yeah, either that or at this point, Mind Freak, Instead of just holding this angle, get yourself get yourself to here and sit behind the boxes. And then Forsaken can hold this cross, you know, from here or from or from here. And then as soon as as soon as Forsaken makes contact, Mind Freak just swings out here and, and kills. I mean you just trade it out. Um, <clears throat> something like that. Either one of those two options would have been better. Okay, so here we are at the infamous round 21. We get some early push from Leviathan into 
uh, showers and we get the early aggression from Jing out of showers like we saw in the previous round. And what was it, round 14 or 17? So it's that same type of aggression. Jing's going to get stunned here by the dog and and he's, and he's going to bail. He gets out the... Uh, orbital strike comes down here and so he, he can't fully bail out but he can tuck himself in behind this corner Yoru's uh, decoy is coming down short and we have a haunt which tags Takalila King and and I believe it tags Sh no it doesn't look like it's tagged shy so <clears throat> what's this is the first this is the first part of throwing the round they look like they're trying to get some aggression, but the se the timing and the sequencing is is all wrong. And Mind Freak, I just want you to watch Mind Freak on the minimap here. The way that he swings out of showers. So all of the aggression comes in. The haunt gets sent through. So the haunt lands. And if, if Mind Freak had have just waited, I don't know if the haunt tags shy or not here, but... He probably could have just wall banged him through through the doors, but he doesn't even do that. He doesn't even come out of the doors looking down towards this direction. He comes out facing these guys, and just watch this. Here he is trying to get the kill on Taco, but Shy's right here looking at him, and he gets out. And now, so Mind Freak's dead <clears throat> already. Devi follows him in. What's Devi going to come out of the teleported doors with? A Prowler. Good luck. Jin comes out as well. <clears throat> they try to get some pressure here. Devi gets Taco. He gets traded out by Shy. And Jing whiffs his, whiffs his ult. He should have killed King here. He kills him anyway. And then now they've still got the advantage. It's a 3v3. They've only got two guns here for Leviathan. They could just chill. Forsaken has two flashes still. And Jing just wide swings this. Wide swings this. Benkai's too far behind to trade him. Forsaken's not even looking at going into TP here. Jing dies. Benkai backs off. Forsaken comes into TP. He doesn't even flash out. He's got two flashes in hand and just walks out into two of them and all of a sudden it's a 2v1. And this is where... Leviathan played the 2v1 so much better than the previous round where Paper X had a 2v1. Look at them. They just walk through showers together. What they ended up doing is they end up walking all the way through back aside. Ben Guy tries to get a nice timing. He's, he's almost unlucky to not get one here. They, they do their due diligence, due diligence and clear it right out. And if Ben Guy had a walk to triple there, he might have even been able to shoot them as they were planting but then he's unable to they're just playing together the haunt comes out and they just and shy gets a an ace which is just fed to him absolutely fed to him small thing there as well is that melsa gets off the plant to fight yeah the 2v1 trade the fight now, Leviathan's on the anti-eco, and they just post up. They get the early pick on Forsaken, who just tries to walk out of short. And then they see nothing with the Prowler. Try very safely jiggle peeking. You know, Paper X tries to set up this, this cross angle in uh, Hookah. They get found out. Prowler stalls that. But look at this. Now they just go, all right, we're going to get out. Paper X tries to call it. But then Taco, you till out. 
Seekers come out. Flash comes out. Stun comes out. Util dump from everyone. They invest the ult from Fade as well. And they just make sure that they clear out everything for the site. Now, I would like to... Be, if this was Forsaken or maybe someone else, maybe Jing on Paper X as well, they would probably just go off the trail and push in and just try and get the kill here and walk into a 2v1 and give away a gun. But look, there's three players for Leviathan who come and fight this. They've got a trail that leads into here. They flash. Sorry, they've got a trail that leads into here. They flash. And then even though Adverso gets flashed the absolute daylights out of, so does everyone uh, on Paper X. And Melsa's, Melsa and uh, Taco are there just to follow in and get the kill. And so now it's a 2v5 because they've just played together as a team. Benkai has to try and make something happen. Here's another great bit of team play for Benkai. He goes for the flash and he goes, no, I'm going to aftershock. Tries to aftershock to clear this corner. And instead of just letting Taco Lilla run out here and try and just get away or take the fight, Melsa actually comes in to make this a 2v1 fight. So Malister actually swings in with Tarko to fight Benkai, which allows Tarko to get out. And then Mind Freak gets one on King, but then they just fight him again as as a as a team. And that's that's how you need to play those anti ecos. If you've got gun advantage and you're fighting with numbers advantage as well, the odds of you losing those fights are just astronomically low. And then, here we go. And this this is where it just becomes weird. Uh, yeah, this is where it just becomes weird. Forsaken's just going to walk out of a short here. He's just going to creep up. He's going to look. And then they just run. He doesn't even clear the angle. And... Mind, Mind Freak just runs into the, the gun of Melsa as well and all of a sudden it's a, a 5v3 and Leviathan just closed this one out really nicely. So, which leaves um, Paper X on an eco and Jing tries to make something happen here. I don't, I don't hate this because you're down 3v5 but Jing shouldn't have to be walking out B short here. And they play it really well because Shy's just sitting here ready to swing the next one. As soon as Divide gets this kill on King, Shy swings it and they trade. Well, they, he's even late to swing, but they double swing it. They trade it together. 4v1, there's nothing that Benkai can do here. And Leviathan close it out 13-11. It just shows playing as a team is just so much better than these individual plays and you can make, you can support your individual players and pop off and use your util. Even if Forsaken just had have flashed out of that TP in, in round 20, uh, 21, it just, they would have both been flashed, changed the whole round. If they just, Jing says, all right, let's go three, two, one, flash through. They go again. They just wait for the, wait for the util, but no, they just, they just WK and hope that their aim is good enough. And today it wasn't. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, you know, in my last video about Paper X, I said that their discipline was something that they needed to work on if they were going to go far. And and Leviathan's discipline was phenomenal. The way they fought together and played the game together as a team and set themselves up for picks and, and team play was, was brilliant. And I thought Shy was a standout. And yeah, well, we're going to have to see how Paper X goes in the next match to try and uh, keep fighting in the tournament against Team Liquid. So hopefully that will be a banger and hopefully after today's experience, Paper X starts pulling out some more team play and, and we'll see better things out of them, more like what they were doing at Masters 2. Taco Lilla, clicking heads, ba 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 Yeah. Run, 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 run away.